not there right now. And I'm out here because I'm mad, I'm upset. I am the middle class, I represent the middle class, and I want to maintain the middle class. And we're exercising our democracy. That's my story, in a nutshell. My husband was thrown out of a construction work that he'd been in for 35 years. The best job that we have found since 2007, ladies and gentlemen, paid less than half of what he made before. No benefits, no contribution. 401k, dental, vision. <laughs> what happened back in 2009, I was working for the Carter Center down on Fayette Street, and the governor shut us down. Um, I'm between a rock and a hard place. I just moved here about a year ago from New York, and I've been to about 20 different hospitals. No one has worked for me. I've been a nurse for 22 years. My daughter's in law school in her second year, and I found out yesterday that she's a diabetic, but hasn't been on insulin now for two weeks because she can't afford it. I have a son that's in his second year at Howard University, and um, found out yesterday also that he hasn't had food in his house for a week. You know, I have been living on my retirement. I have been living on the earnings of three generations of my family, and that's wrong. We haven't paid our oil bill since, I guess, maybe last December. So we haven't had hot water since February. And I was raised upper middle class. It's like, what the hell? Like, I've worked this hard. I've gotten this smart and educated for this. So we're struggling, and I do go to the Howard County Pantry that's um, on Annapolis Boulevard every month and try to make ends meet that way. Because I listen to things, I hear these stories, and my heart just rips into fury. And we have every right to be furious. But I have something to say to the people who have been out here who are teabaggers, too. We need to embrace these people. They are furious and they are confused. They are half right. They are very angry at the government that does not respond to them. In order for this to really work, we need all of us. All of us.